Look at this crazy little thing. It's called the Porsche Cayman GT4 RS, and it is essentially the mid-engine cousin to the famous 911 GT3, featuring the same engine. Like the GT3, the GT4 is developed by Porsche's GT Motorsport division, tested and tuned by racing car drivers. The RS though is pushed to an even higher level. Judging by the design alone, you could mistake this for an actual racing car that hasn't yet had its sponsorship decals added on. Various parts are made from carbon fibre to reduce weight, including the bonnet, front guards and the massive rear wing. As a result, the RS is 35 kilograms lighter than the regular GT4. It also uses bespoke suspension with 30 millimeters chopped from the ride height, and the enhanced aero work provides around 25% more downforce than the GT4. The RS is also available with these 20 inch forged aluminium wheels, or optional magnesium, with center locking nuts just like a racing car. Did I mention this is a racing car? They wear 245-35 front and 295-30 Pirelli P0 tyres. Inside, again, this is pretty much a racing car. Chunky bucket seats hold you in firmly with harness belts, and there's a roll cage in the back. Some creature comforts remain, including climate control and a touchscreen interface. These seats might look as comfy as a pile of rocks, but they are actually more supportive than you expect. We're not sure how they shape up if you're a bit fat though, or really tall. Being mid-engined, you've got two boots to choose from, including a front compartment, which is big enough for at least one carry-on luggage case and some, and then another compartment behind the engine, which can store another bag, with some space left over. Nestled between the boot and the cabin is the glorious 4.0-litre flat-six engine. Naturally aspirated, it can rev to 9,000 RPM, at which point it sends violent goosebumps down your spine. It feels like your bones are going to disintegrate from the overwhelming sensations. Out on the road, it is more civilized than you might think. Sure, the suspension is firm, but no firmer than some hardcore hot hatches. There's also a comfort mode too. The steering is pure and engaging, and the handling is absolutely outstanding. This is what it goes like.